Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to put in a bulkhead union onto a barrel that still has the top in it. A bulkhead union or a bulkhead joint is basically one of these. It's got a bolt portion, a nut portion, and two gaskets. One of them is a rubber gasket, one of them is a hard, harder plastic gasket. I've used several different brands and they all are essentially the same. Here's a different brand. It's basically the same. Still has a rubber gasket, plastic gasket, and a bolt and nut portion. Okay, the way this works is essentially the bolt portion goes in one way or the other. And of course, on the other side, you put the other gasket and the nut. Now, if the barrel itself or the container has an open top, this isn't a problem. It doesn't really matter how you do it because you can reach both the bolt and the nut to tighten it up. But if your top is still in the barrel and your only way in is through the holes, the bunk holes, then it makes it a lot harder to get access to the other portion of the, uh, of the little unit. So you got to figure out a way to tighten up the nut onto the bolt to make it water waterproof or make a, a waterproof seal. So essentially there's only two ways. One is put the bolt in from the outside, figure out how to tighten up the nut on the inside, or vice versa, put the bolt on the inside and tighten up the nut. Both ways are fairly simple. Uh, there, there's just a few more steps to putting the bolt on the outside. I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna start with putting the bolt on the inside, nut on the outside, because I think that's, that is the simplest method. So let me show you how to get started with that. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is just get a piece of string and I'm going to put something heavy and tie it on one end. All right, and that's going to be lowered down into the barrel. Like so. Until it reaches the bottom. Notice I already have the hole in the bottom cut and it is more or less in line with the hole at the top. Now, if this barrel has two holes at the top, you could use either. Just make sure that your nut and bolt, whichever way you're gonna do it, will fit into the hole. Now, all I've basically done is let that weighted end of the string fall down, and I fished it out of the hole. And so now that I had the string run completely through the hole. Okay, now I want to take my bolt and I wanna place it onto the string with the string running through it, and just make sure that whichever way I have it in there is pointing towards the opening as I want it, which in this case will be like this. All right, so that's not right. I want to do it like so, making sure that my rubber washer is also on there. Now I'm simply going to drop the, the bolt through and it's going to fall to the bottom. Okay, now my bolt has fallen down and if I take and pull this string you'll see that the edge of the bolt is now sticking out. I can take and grab that maybe get your finger inside of it and grab hold of it and you simply pull it through. Okay now the only thing left to do is to place the nut and the plastic washer on. Again this is left-handed thread so you can see on the you may not, may be able to see on the nut there's an arrow telling you which way tightens. But make sure to hold to the bolt. And don't let it press or push back through as you tighten the nut. And then you just want to tighten that up to whatever your instructions or whatever you think works to hold the, hold the nut in place and to make the seal watertight. And that is basically it. Now this will probably work. I don't, I don't know that there's any issues with this, but there is a difference of the washers on both of these style units. You've got the rubber washer, which is on the bolt side, and you've got the plastic washer, which is on the nut side. The instructions on the uh, that white version that I have in the barrel now shows placing the bolt head on the outside of the barrel. Now, I don't know that this makes a difference. It may be that the rubber washer is not meant to stand up to 
long-term exposure to water. I don't know. It may not make any difference at all. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it on the reverse way with the bolt on the outside and the nut on the inside. Okay, I'm going to show you in this little mock-up <clears throat> how this works because I can't show you what's going on inside the barrel. But you see, basically, I've got the string with the weighted end run through the, the bolt portion. And it's sticking out. Again, this is going to go inside the barrel. Now, on this end, with the nut, I've taken and I've drilled a hole. Well, actually, I have two holes, but you only need one hole in one of the sides of the nut. And what you'll do is you'll take a string that is at least double the height of the barrel with some left over. So you want about this much twice or doubled. So it'll go down and back up. And you're going to take and place the string through one of the holes. And you're going to pull it to its center point. Okay, so I've got my string in. I've got it centered. Also, make sure that your string does not have a knot or anything on either end. Because once this gets down in place, you're going to actually let go of one side and pull the other side. So you want it to slide through the hole easily. Then you can pull the string completely out of the barrel. Now, on this piece of string that goes through the bolt, it goes all the way through the barrel. We'll call that the slider string. We're going to place that through the rubber washer and also through the the nut and you want to make sure that you're placing it in the right direction so that your threads are oriented correctly in this case you've got the tighten here on the outside that needs to be inside the barrel so the string will go through this way okay i've got my string pulled tight the sort of give a demonstration of how it's going to be inside the barrel. Again, the slider string is going to be pulled sort of snug or tight. And you're going to let the, the washer and the nut both slide down the string just like you did before with the bolt. Now, you notice it's going to more or less orientate, orientate itself correctly with the bolt. So all these are going to be lined up because the string is pulled tight. This string here that you're going to guide with from above, you'll simply hold on to it and you will slowly turn your bolt until it grabs. And you'll do this. And you see that it is slowly tightening and the only thing I'm holding the nuts in place with is the string. And it's only keeping it from going clockwise or counterclockwise. But eventually it tightens up. And you see now you've got the bolt exposed on this side. So it's actually working. So that's basically what we're doing inside the barrel. Okay, similar to what we did before. I let my weight go through. I fished it out. And now I'm going to place the bolt into the barrel with the string running through it. So, and you might want to tie off this loose end just to have something to pull against. Okay, so now on top, I'm going to take my string. I'm going to place first the, the plastic washer through. I'll just let it go down. Now I'll take my nut as well, make sure it's facing the right direction. The words on this is outside, so it's going to go through this way. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side for the moment. Now I'm going to take something, tie off this slider string. And I'm going to pull it more or less snug. Now I'm going to let my nut slide down while holding onto the strings until it reaches more or less the bottom. Okay, now that's at the bottom, I'm going to turn my bolt slightly counterclockwise while wiggling this string that has the nut on it. And you'll find that you might have to pull the nut back up and get it in position. You'll have to look down through the barrel and make sure that it's getting somewhere close. Okay, so the hardest part is going to be 
being patient, making sure that the strings do not cross each other as it goes down so that you can control one without the other. And you're gonna sim simply sit here and turn Counterclockwise, you may have to move it back and forth a little bit to get the um, the nut to line up, but eventually it will start, you'll feel it grab, and it will start turning independently of the nut, and it'll start tightening up, and you just, you'll feel it. And you just need to keep hold, keep a, um, keep, uh, keep your guide string snug, not the, not this one, but the, the one going down to the nut. Keep it tight as this turns and eventually it will tighten all the way up as much as you want it to tighten. Okay, now it's all the way tightened. I will unwrap everything. I'm gonna pull this string through. This is my slider string. Pull it all the way out. Okay, now up top, I'm gonna to take my second string and I'm gonna let one side go while I pull the other. And that pulls all the way through the hole in the nut and comes completely out. Now there's nothing left inside the barrel. Hopefully you can see the nut is on the inside of the barrel. It's now tightened. Everything's in position. There's nothing in the barrel that shouldn't be except for some trash that I need to get out. But the bulkhead union's in place. It's tight and it's ready to go. Okay, guys, that wraps this project up. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, how about hitting the subscribe button below? I hope to have another video on rain barrels in general coming out pretty soon, so keep your eye out. But as always, thanks for watching.